With the third pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Jeff Okuda, defensive back, Ohio State. Congratulations, Jeff. So an Ohio State star will cross the border and go into Michigan, and back-to-back -back Ohio State players go 2-3. Now, this is the eighth time that teammates have gone in the top three of the draft. This is the third time Ohio State's had two guys, his teammates, go in the top five. That is more than any other college football program. We're pleased to be joined now by the head coach at Ohio State, Ryan Day, who, with Joe Burrow transferring from there, has now coached all three of the first three guys picked in the NFL draft. Joe, uh, Ryan, we've talked a lot about Joe Burrow, a lot about Chase Young. I want to talk about Jeffrey Okuda. He is picked third as a cornerback, highest pick for a cornerback this century. What makes him worth a pick that high? Well, uh, we could talk about it for a long time, but but first, certainly his skill set uh, is off the charts. I mean, he can change direction. He's got great length, uh, he, but he's very competitive, very tough, showed great leadership this year. Uh, but the thing that, that separates Jeff, in my opinion, is you know, he's a student of the game. I mean, he's a guy that, you know, you walk down the hallway late at night and the coaches are in there. He's the only guy in there watching film. Uh, he loves watching film. He loves watching his opponent. And so when you combine all those things, you know, uh, Detroit's getting a really, really good player here. Ryan, when you think about the intangible quality, what is the number one thing that Okuda brings outside of his obvious skill set on the field to the Detroit Lions? Uh, just a great work ethic. Uh, where he's going to show up every day. He's going to be the first guy there, the last guy to leave. Uh, just a very, very mature approach. Uh, and, and then, you know, a, a, into his third year is really when guys start to step up, especially in our program. And I thought he stepped up in a big way this year in terms of leadership uh, before the game, getting the DBs together, getting them fired up. Uh, he's got a presence. He's durable. Uh, he's tough. And uh, I couldn't say enough things about Jeff. So happy for him and his family. Well, Ryan, congratulations. Two of your Buckeyes going in the top three. And for the first time in NFL draft history, the top three picks all at one point in their college careers were teammates. Congratulations, Ryan Day, head coach at Ohio State. Thanks for being with us. So Jeffrey Okuda really didn't even nail down a full-time starting spot with Ohio State until this past season, but his talent is evident. This is a great pick for Detroit. They had the worst pass defense in the NFL last year, only seven interceptions. They lose their best corner, Darius Slade of Philadelphia. So you get the best cover corner in the draft in Jeff Okuda. Coach just talked about his feet, his length, his ability to change direction, and he doesn't back down from bigger, more physical receivers. Against Nico Collins of Michigan, you saw late in the year, against Justin Ross, T. Higgins from Clemson big long receivers he completely shut them down and here's what I love about Jeff Okuda he doesn't get penalties no pass interference calls last year no defensive holding penalties last year we know guys referees today they throw these flags more than they ever have in the past but pass interference in college is 15 yards in the NFL that could be 50 60 yards and the difference between winning and losing games so Kirk Jeff Okuda great selection by coach Patricia in Detroit there's been such a great history in the last uh, five to seven years of Ohio State defensive backs, especially corners, that Jeffrey Okuda had to wait his turn to become the man. Really grew up in 2019.